Hello, friends. Little detail. We just recently worked out shortening the distance with one of the students. Front hand. And then rock, not slip. To which side is easier? So-called peekaboo tilt, like Tyson had. But Tyson had his twist to it. Anyway, everybody is the same. And this tilt from side to side and punch from here. That's the element with which you accelerate your weight and enhance your punch. Which side is comfortable? Comfortable to tilt after first punch. That's uh, that you shorten the distance with. With what do you shorten the distance? Step. Yes, I can. I can go on the step. I can step forward. I can jump with the punch. And here we have this nuance. Which side to tilt? If I punched with left hand, of course that I have my weight on my right leg. It's comfortable for me to go here and continue. But I'm already here. That's another additional effort. If you punch front hand to the left, you have greater amplitude and you can use it. It means that it will rock you back It's comfortable for me, watch. Please. I punch with my left and shorten the distance. I can jump to the left. I can jump to the left right from here. I can rock and I'm already lower from here with this move, like a glass. With the change of stance, one, two, three, hook in there and second moment, guys. When you punch with front hand, of course, it's easier for your opponent. His arms, arms, his arm is free. Rocking here, you've loaded this leg. And it's hard to this side. It's logical to go to the side with the free leg. Rock, punch from here. Or with another move, accelerate yourself. Same thing with the right hook. South pole, for example. Shorten the distance, rock to the left here. The opponent's right arm, of course. Of course, it's more force to him. And left leg is free. Rocking with shoulders, right leg will go. By itself, it will go by itself. I can punch right from here or make some additional move means with left arm, better position is on left leg. Bigger weight is here, left leg is more free. When you rock, you move away from attack, plus when your arm is here, you don't take it back, you can be hit with left arm, but if you take it back, you can get hit with right arm, but you don't take it back. You make a move with your shoulders, and then your arm covers you when you tilt it. And you have a movement like this. This element is about that you not punch, sit and then rock. You accelerate and arm goes and covers you while you punch. And when you rock, it covers you on your return. And you have this amplitude, punch to the punching arm, punching arm and rock accelerate. That's the little detail. Amplitude will be greater to the side of the punching arm. See you.